How much storage space do you need on a laptop? For most people, a few hundred gigabytes will do it. Maybe you need a terabyte on the device, if you work with a lot of big files. Flash drives were long seen as a way to keep a subset of your files for easy transportation. They were smaller than your hard drive. That might not be the case anymore with Kingston's new 2 terabytes flash drive. You'll pay handsomely for access to all those mobile bytes though. Announced at CES, the Data Traveler Ultimate Generation Terabyte comes in both 1 terabyte and 2 terabytes varieties. They connect to the computer via a standard USB 3.1 Type-A port, not the new USB Type-C port. While that makes sense for the majority of devices right now, a Type-C port might have served the Data Traveler Ultimate Generation well in the near future. Unlike other modern thumb drives which are much, much smaller than a thumb, the Data Traveler Ultimate GT is rather hulking by comparison. The casing is roughly 27 x 21 mm, which means it'll most likely cover more than one port, and may not even fit into some more cramped areas. Hopefully Kingston sees fit to toss in a female-to-male cable add-on to reach those ports. The drive has a zinc alloy metal casing that Kingston says is highly resistant to shock. It's big for a flash drive, but it's tiny compared with anything else with 2 terabytes of storage. As Kingston points out, that's enough space for more than 70 hours of 4K video at 30 FPS. On a flash drive, this isn't the first time Kingston has broken the terabyte limit with a thumb drive. The Data Traveler Hyper X Predator was announced in 2013, with a maximum capacity of 1 terabyte. Unfortunately, it wasn't produced for very long and is only available at vastly inflated prices, over $2,000, from third-party sellers now. The original price was a little over $1,200. Kingston wasn't ready to commit to a final retail price yet, but says the Data Traveler Ultimate GT will be priced between 40 and 45 cents per gigabyte. That works out to $400 to $450 for the 1 terabyte, and $800 to $900 for the 2 terabytes. That's a lot of money, but a significant price cut compared with the older 1 terabyte drive. The drives will ship in February, so, Kingston doesn't exactly have a long time to figure out the cost.